Hi everybody and big welcome to a CDHTV gameplay video. So sadly Kusa with us forgot to turn on his audio for the intro so here I am instead. First one out as a starting play we have Pontus playing Nagella keeping an opening hand of Force of Negation, Gitaxian Probe, Worldly Tutor, Mox Timing, City of Traitors, Mox Amber and Bayou. This is honestly a really good hand. We're looking at a turn 1 Nagella with a Worldly Tutor with a Mox Timing on turn 2 to full up for some cool grindy or combo potential creatures. Second in turn order we have Kusa playing Isika, God of the Tree. This is a deck that is trying to win with Nagella inside the 99 and Isika and other random legendaries. He's keeping an opening hand of Dockside Extortionist, Swan Song, Rhystic Study and a bunch of lands. This could be a potential turn to Rhystic Study on depending on how much that Dockside will be fed. Third in turn order we have Black Coffee with us playing Tevesh and Jeska, a turbo combo graveyard oriented deck. And he has one of the combo pieces inside his opening hand, he had to mulligan down to 5 though, but we have a dockside extortionist that he can potentially loop to gain infinite mana to kill everyone with Jeska Thrice Reborn. But he could be closer on winning than that, he has an unmarked grave, put a non-legendary creature card from your library into your graveyard like an entomb and then reanimate to bring that directly into play. Me, I'm playing the Ursa Gruul Lady version. Hey, this is a patron deck that I played before, I wanna give it a go again because I, I really have some feeling this commander has potential. This is more of a stormy version compared to the Conspicuous Snoop build that I have. My opening hand contains Birgi, Ragavan, Moon Silver Key and Phyrexian Altar. Turn 1 Ragavan feels pretty good and then we can develop into more potential combo pieces like Birgi and Phyrexian Altar. And with that, let's start the match. I'll go for turn. I will play City of Traitors, a slam for turn. I'll cast a Mox Diamond, pitching a Bayou. Then I will cast a Najila. And then I'll cast a Mox Amber. So yeah, this is still a great hand, but I did realize that I have to pitch a land to Mox Diamond. Mox Diamond does actually have a downside. Uh, so I don't actually have the win next turn unless I top deck a land of the Git Probe, which is not something I'm gonna bet on. But hearing Mons keeping this first seven makes me very much think he has a aggressive hand that l will land loads of artifacts. So I probably just get there off the dock side with the Wishclaw Talisman as well. I think we just have it still. But it's not as good as I first thought because I got excited about seeing good hand. But yeah, we we'll probably still just win next turn, but we'll see how it goes. And then I'll pass my turn. Um, yeah, so I'll play this Badlands for turn and pass. Cool. Um, I will draw a card. I will play this Command Tower and I'll also pass. I'm gonna draw a card for turn. I'm gonna play this Command Tower as well. I'm gonna tap it. And Ragavan, Nimble Pilferer, and then I'm uh, passing the turn. Take my turn. I will go to combat. I'll swing four at coffee. I will not block. Take four, good sir. I will then pay two life to cast a Git Probe targeting... Yeah, targeting Kusa. Yeah, like good fate like this. All right, and then do I just put them out onto yeah. the... Okay, all right. So I have these three wonderful cards. Um, this, 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 and this. I'll draw a card. I'll tap a red. Cast the gamble. I pass on gamble. Uh, yeah, I pass. All good. I pass on gamble. Finding a card and discarding a card randomly. I discard a Wishclaw Talisman. Oh. That feels like a very key card for you. I think you wanted that. It, it's decent. Is this the Admiral's version? It is Admiral's version. I'll tap three for Rhystic Study. Oh my god, you're absolutely running away with this game. That's the plan, yes. <laughs> with Rhystic Study in play, I'll pass the turn. Well, Pontus, I'm just sitting here and you were complaining about your hand and like, what are you complaining about? This is an amazing board state. <laughs> I saw a win turn 2 in my first hand, but I forgot that Mox Diamond has to pitch a land. So now I don't win turn 2. I maybe win turn oh, 3, but I have no, to draw Oh no, you don't win turn 2. <laughs> oh. oh baby. I'll make 2 off of the dark side, right? Um, I cannot pay. I'll, I'll, I'll crack 2 and, and cast the Drake. Triggeristic on the Gilded Drake. Uh, you may draw. Thank you. There you uh, go, yeah. Pontus. I have a Nagila blocker. That's better than you. And peace is restored. Yeah, I, have an, I, I have a Nagila blocker right there. Look, look, it's a monkey. Sure. 
I, I, I will pass. Cool. I will draw a card. I will play this Luxury Suite. I would like to play an Unmarked Grave. Trigger Roosting. I cannot pay. Thank you. Yeah, I pass on it. Cool. So we've put a Magda into the bin. Yes, this is a small misplay. Unmarked Grave can't put Magda into the graveyard. You have to find a non-legendary card and Magda just happens to be legendary. Big oops, but let's continue with the match. Um, we're just hoping for two more treasures then we can get dark side out cloudstone curio we'll fetch with magda um and then we'll go from there with with the mayhem devil in hand hopefully we should be able to um, pull off a win um so i'll pass the turn there uh magda's in the graveyard i'm gonna untap and draw a card i'm gonna play this forest combat i'm attacking black coffee with my with my dogs uh, ragavan yeah yeah i have no blocks your prize is an animate dead. <laughs> you so you sir. Uh, wait. Imagine you... if Earl Gorge was in graveyard now. Holy. Oh my god. <laughs> Do you want a Magda? I I think honestly, I think I want the Magda here. <laughs> I mean that's pretty good, right? So I'm gonna tap to sacrifice this treasure. I'm gonna cast your animate dead and take your Magda from you, Black Coffee. Thank you. Triggeristic. I pay for a stick with my treasure. Yeah, that's a problem. <sighs> so that was uh, extremely lucky, not gonna lie. Uh, with that, I pass the turn. Go for it, Pontus. Okay, take my turn. That's amazingly funny. <laughs> cast the mana cards. Uh, I'll tap three mana, cast a Bergy. I'll tap for two, cast a Talisman of Indul Indulgence, Bergy trigger. I'll then play a Spire of Industry, trigger. That land dies, and then I'll pass. I'm gonna play this Plaza of Heroes, cast a Sika. Triggeristic. I, I will pay. Am I the only one worried about Kusa having Najila and a Sika together? Just missing three land on whatever legendaries to win here? You're not the only one, no. I, there's nothing to worry about. Go to combat. Sorry to pick on you, Coffee, but I'm gonna swing Najila and a Warrior. I will use my face to block. Fantastic. With that, I will pass. We'll cast an Ancient Tomb. I would like to tap for three and cast this Recruiter of the Guard. Uh, at least two. Um, I've got a colorless float. Trigger is thick. You can draw. Thank you. I'm going to get a Val key. I'll go to my hand and then I will pass the turn. I'm going to untap and uh, draw a card. So we don't have any good attackers. Or like we kind of do, but one of our creatures will die to that Imperial Recruiter, sadly. Let's begin with this Verdant Catacomb. I guess we need to progress and attacking is the right way. I'm sorry, Bukofi, for picking at you too. I'm attacking with my two creatures, Dragavan and your Magda at you. <laughs> oh, I will block the Ragavan with the Recruiter. You can get back in Magda, you know that, right? Yep. Ragavan dies. I create a treasure from Magda, sacrificing Verdant Catacombs. Finding a Taiga, one, two, three, casting Birgi. Birgis are everywhere. Birgi twins. Paying extra for Rhystic Study by sacrificing this treasure. And then I pass the turn. So here we have a very interesting interaction. Asuka doesn't tap the legendary. She has to, he, she gives them the ability to tap for color. So the only blue Kusa represents is the Najila. So here I can abruptly kill Najila, putting two cards in my graveyard, then on my turn cast the Breach, gamble from my from my graveyard, and with the, just gambling for a brain freeze, and with all the mana I have, it should be fine. I, there shouldn't be much that can go wrong here. I can still Fistle, but I think this is a very good window for me to go for, because he cannot pay for Pacts. <laughs> Had to shake. Uh, he has four mana, so he can't pay for the pact. And we have two non blue players. And this line is hard to interact with. Yeah, let's go. In your end step mods, I will pay two life to cast an abrupt decay on my Najila. Or my Najila that's stolen. I cannot counter that, unfortunately. Even though you. Okay. So abrupt decay resolves. Najila will go to my graveyard. I'd like to go to my turn. I'm allowing you to go to your turn. Quite curious about Najila being in your grave, though. Thank you for allowing me to go to my turn. Untap. Draw for turn. Float a colorless and cast a unreal breach. Uh, Burger trigger and I want colorless floating. Uh, I have no response. Kusa? I mean, yeah, by taking Najila, you turned up both. Yeah. Yeah, I am aware. That that's the whole point. <laughs> uh, okay, so breach resolves. I have one red and one colorless in my mana pool. I'll use the red from Bergy to cast uh, I'll exile abrupt decay. No, oh, not abrupt decay. Okay. I'll exile Git probe Najila to command zone and sit of traitors to cast a gamble. Bergy trigger. Oh, that's very good. <laughs> 
I'll find the card, put it in my hand, and then discard randomly. Discarding a brain freeze. <laughs> Shock. Tap for blue, use the colorless. I'd like to cast Brain Freeze, Trigger Storm, Trigger Bergy. I have uh, three copies of Brain Freeze starting myself. So I would mail Birds, Ungon Sea, Ranger Captain, Silence, Grim Hireling, Fierce Guardianship, Savin Strike, Breath of Flame, Tin Pact. I will use the red from Bergy, exiling Birds, Breath of Flame, Grim Hireling to cast, cast Gamble. Uh, I'll make it, re uh, make it red, Ca still have two red in pool. Finding a Lion's Side Diamond, put it in my hand, discarding a card randomly, discard the LED. Uh, and from here I can present a loop where I cast Lion's Side Diamond from Graveyard, make three blue, then cast Brain Freeze, and then do this to exile my deck and then cast Lattice Oracle to win. GG. Works for me. Breach is still a busted magic card. Good game.